So after everything this the senior class especially had to go through, how, what kind of mark do you think the senior class is leaving behind? Oh, the ne next year we put up, I mean we, we came all the way from going two and four, from not even being able to play in the playoffs last year, um, to having a new coach, so we have to learn everything that he does. And I think we're leaving a good mark for the next year's team. And they're all young. We're such a young team, so they're only going to go up. Even before the season, it seemed like a lot of people were thinking you couldn't make it here. Right. Do you guys feel at least vindicated or anything like that, that you I, guys made it this far? Honestly, we just use it as motivation. I mean, everyone, every, I think every playoff game besides, like, Warren Mott, we were chosen to lose. So, I mean, we just use it, I mean, to our advantage. Because, I, like, I mean, personally, I like being the underdog. So, I mean... We came all the way. We proved everyone wrong. So, can you just talk about the simple thing of belief and how that helped you guys, you know, collect yourself after last season's aftermath to get to this point through everything with COVID yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we we didn't even know what was gonna happen. Like when when we could, we were like told that we came and playing the playoffs. Um, to Coach G getting fired. Um, we all. I mean, it was kind of like a we had to come together again because. Like even when we when we started off two and four, we weren't like that close of a team. So we started going to like bowling, um, team gatherings. So I think our bond just got even closer throughout the year. And that's I think why we made it all the way because we got closer and closer as a team. You know, this was obviously not the result you guys wanted, but you know, just just talk about how much you guys battled just to get here and the belief you had to get here. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, you know, this is not what we wanted. Uh, much like you said, but. Uh, you know, after starting two and four, I mean, most people kind of decided at that point. They said they're thinking other, any other team, maybe Grossman South or you know some other team from the size can make it. And you know, we battled, we battled all season, and you know, we, we came out on the top of our of our side, and you know, we fought as hard as we could from two and four to you know seven and four, you know, to be in this game. So I think it's a testament to our team, and that is why I just wanted to throw this in here. Our, our underclassmen are amazing. I mean, I've never seen a, a class like this step up on any team I've ever watched. I mean, next year we're gonna be a, this is gonna be a real hard out. I mean, I'm so happy to watch my brothers go fight, even though it's without me. I, I just had, I'm sorry, I know that's not part of the question, but I had to fill that in. They're just an amazing underclass, and I, I would, I would really watch out for them next year because this feeling right here, they, they, now they know it. They're hungry. Well, how proud you are of the seniors, but uh, you know, just to see them, what they did in this game today, it seemed like so many seniors were stepping up and making some plays. That even you can just talk about how they really did leave it all on the line out there. Yeah, you know, we're a very small senior class, and I've said it all, but they've committed and dedicated themselves, and their parents have done an amazing job. So credit to them, and they stepped up on the biggest stage. And, you know, in time, in time we'll get there. And our juniors and sophomores learned a lot, a lot from these guys.